Yes, sir, come on, ladies in the building, MTV, the big group is setting on this one. We are celebrating together music. The hashtag is so UG. Dr. Ali, welcome to MTV, the best. Okay, kwanza chano salami kwa kiswahili, kwa sababu tuna mutu ambaye na elewa kiswahili mbari mbari. Eee. Hey. Salami hivu hivu. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Alafu kiswahili saizi wanaenda kuisomesha kwa mashule ya msingi. Hata wamechelewa kidogo kwa sababu wameanza kujifunza watu zamani. Eh. Eh lakini kama watu utambao wanatisema kwenye NTV the beat sasa hivi that is for the Swahili people. Ah uh, sevite si wajezi manje bo sababu gichi ya Rwanda ndio ni kamili ni muhimu wacho. Nice. Ah, utugenemu ni vichi. Ah kwamba government. Lingala, lingala. Lingala. Ah na ibi um um Jo uh, Camilio, Omoni Camilio, ku televizio a uh, 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 NTV. Hey. Ono sina ba nje zanyo lakini na ibi lingala muke muke. Yeah. Tere bien? Kati tu gene muli michi. Um, uh, lusoga, lusoga, lusoga tu ala mudagi. Lusoga ndui 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 putono putono. Ndui. Mwena mwena wakono wangu mwena watula mu Eastern Uganda man salute. Mutuda yeah. wakono yamu Northern Connection uh, Ningo Jal. Uh, Kamilion TA NTV beat. Uh, Wijo be, mutuda mu wanyangu kwa ni mugamba ji ogono umwisho nguzi Kamilion. Yeah. Uh, Ali ku televizio ya in the beat. Atujuda mu Jamaica wagwan. Yeah. Wagwan there man. I mean him coming to write on the television. NTV the beat. They are so with a baga man, baga bad power. See it ya. Nice one, nice one. Okay, Dagi, you have the most iconic introduction of Jose Camilon that I've heard in my entire life. Hey. You have to do it right here, right now. That one is for stage. You, even now, even yeah. now. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you something. Yeah. Uh, the, the concert we were on, uh, um, uh, for cautions, yeah. and uh, Camilon said, Dagi, I know Kunde, Tao, Kunde, and Gao. Now, Camilon had the microphone downstairs. Now, when I was introduced, I, mean, I said, Ladies and gentlemen, welcoming the doctor, the champion, the elephant, the dinosaur, the impolo, matimba, bimba, musota, amirente, atagenda, atagenda, atako, ganancha, meko, atati, ampalada, made in Uganda, of Uganda, for Uganda, representing it to the fullest, is Africa to the widest, and Africa to the largest, strike out of Leon Island Musical Empire. Can hey. you When I be the chairman, it's African music. <laughs> No, but you know what's up with the other day? The other day when I visited my family, one of my daughters, Alba, was listening to me. Yeah. So the management calls me, ah, Chameleon, you have to do the adverts for a certain place. Mm. So I told, my, I told my daughter, okay, you know what you're going to do? Because I was home with her alone, with Alba. I told her, quite a camera, you're going to help me do the video for me. Yeah. So she was holding the camera. So I was like, hey, mommy, don't look at this camera. And she's looking at me like this. <laughs> she asked me, but why do you have to talk fast like that? <laughs> I told her this is business. Yes. <laughs> Speaking about Alba the and family, the family, look at yeah. that picture right there. Yeah. So beautiful. Yeah. Mashallah. Yeah. That's what the people say, yeah. Who of this is going to enter the music business? Um, yeah, actually, I'll be honest with you. I'm pretty sure my children are musical, mm. but I don't know whether Abba will feel fine about it. Abba is a swimmer. He's a swimmer, but Abba is he's pre, he's piling up his album coming out so soon. Oh, really? I was surprised that Abba is still doing music in a way. You know, I was uh, here I was home, I was sitting like this, and I would hear some noise down in the history, because I know he has a studio. So when I went downstairs, he wasn't there, I had some music playing. But of course, I couldn't identify So when he came back, I asked him, whose music is this? And he was like, that's my music. Wow. I'm wow. so shocked and I'll be honest with you, the type of music he's doing is far different from what people would expect. Yeah. Well, although he'll unleash it himself. Me as the executive executive uh, director. Yes. I actually told him, I told him, Abba, I'm going to be the executive director. He told me you wish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to apply. <laughs> then I told him what you mean and he was like, Papa, you had your share. You wait for my share. It's my time. Yeah. yeah. Listen, at this particular picture right here, we were having an argument. Mm. Who was holding the phone? Me, I, I thought it was Alpha because it seems closer. No, 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 no. You know what happens? <laughs> okay, I'll teach those people outside there who are arguing about it. This picture is um, you put on the timer. Yeah. And then you put the phone down. Uh, ah, so to, nobody's holding it. Nobody's holding it, yeah. Ah. Yeah. Wow. Okay. What else do we have, Anne? Fantastic. Uh, let's go through these pictures real quick, and Camille is going to be addressing them. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is 2000, 2005. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you know, that's how many years ago. You know, it's 2005, it seems like yesterday, but we should tell them how many years ago. 17 years ago. You know, right? that yeah. Is, that is Grenade's age. <laughs> yeah, uh, and 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 uh, Pinky. This is obsessions. I can see. 
Si l'on va nous dire, il va nous dire, Mr. Nice. Yeah, no, Mr. Nice, Christian Paul Cafero, uh, Fred Sabata. And, and this was the most expensive event. Yes. Sir. Entry was 10,000 shillings, VIP was 30K. Can you imagine? In 2005. Come here, what does this mean to you when, when you look at that? It is a journey. It is a journey that reminds me of my greatness, bro. Omani, let me tell you something. People want us to accept that we've not done nothing. But that's very unfortunate. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not a foolish person. I'm a smart man. Yeah. What I've done, I know I have done. True. To be honest with you, that True. is, for me, this is a journey. This is a journey. I, wow. I'm proud to be one of the, the stones that have built this fraternity and industry. Yeah. Yeah. So. Well, what else Fantastic. do we have? What I remember. Nowadays, we're we paying VIP, we're paying um, 100, 150. Mm, five million. Five million for a table. Yeah. Man, and that's crazy. Yeah. Let's keep scrolling. That was a lot of money. I saw you money. post this. Rest in peace, Alex yeah, and yeah, yeah. How How much of. Uh, an inspiration was Alex to the music industry of Uganda. I'll, I'll tell you personally, me as a person, individually, because I don't want to be generalized. Yeah. Um, when, I, when, I, when I started singing my music, those days, <laughs> <laughs> I used to perform with Mark Rebo, the people that we used to hustle for this industry. And don't see him as a DJ and come here and you start jumping around as an artist. You must salute these people because they played a very big part in the industry. However, Alex Ndaula, when he traveled with Patrick Waku, the boss of Capital FM, Capital Radio at that time, yeah. he went to Nairobi. Kwaku had another uh, sister station, either it was Choice or Kiss FM. So he had Mama Mia being played on that radio station. So Alex was like, what a fantastic song. Then Kwaku tells him, but that's a Ugandan chap. He was like, well, who's the name? That's Camille. So Alex personally carried my CD from that radio station yes. and brought it to Capital Radio. Wow. So one Saturday, Dance Force, he was playing, and they used to have a, a, a saying where they used to say, we break it, we break the artist or we make the artist. Yeah. We break the CD or keep the CD. Or keep the yeah. CD. So my CD was what, the one for the challenge to either break it or keep it. Or keep it. Yeah. So he played Mamma Mia for the first time on Capital Radio. And people were calling in, people were showering him with calls to tell him to keep the CD. He actually played that song. I cannot be very ac accurate, but he played it for actually more than five times wow and then what a great man for me wow yeah so next after that week my song went on to capital radio kampala's top 20 and that's why that's what i meant and from that day you've remained in kampala's top 20 forever yeah, yeah I needless to say kampala's so top one top five I, sometimes i just choose to say ngamba and you can see the military artists sing as well that's, that's the chance when you hear people saying, but Camillion is, is, is not here anymore. I, I leave space for other people to yeah. also grow. Otherwise, I'll be suffocating the industry if I'm going to be. I'm a hit maker, boss. That's true. Yeah. If you doubt it, go back and look at my music catalog. And, and uh, before we went on here, I was just telling you how much respect Wairi and Jokali have for you. Mm. And, and even when we were talking about your journey, and they understand Chameleon that they first wanted to even just be in close proximity with back in Nairobi. Yeah. Highly respected in Nairobi, highly respected in Da, yeah. in Congo, basically Africa at large. There's so many artists who come through, so many of them, they have their success just here in Uganda. Yes. But you've been able to cross the borders. Yes. How did you do that? How can this young artist be able to make music that crosses the borders? Yeah, you know, first and foremost, I'll say that uh, perfection or excellence comes with passion. One thing is a lot of musicians come into this wagon today because they want to, they want to look good, they want to try to sing, they want to be visible. But when I came to sing, I came with my passion. So my passion brought the perfection and excellence. Uh, I remember when I just done Mama Mia as a Swahili song, a lot of people were telling me, like in Kenya, Kenya they love the song immediately, because yeah. that's their own language. Yeah. But other people in Uganda were like, but why are you going to sell Swahili in Uganda? Mm. But my target was not Uganda's the solo market. My dream when I, when I went to Nairobi, honestly, is after learning Swahili, the little bit that I had, I started to dream to sing Swahili even harder, because, bro, Let's not let's not take it so lightly. Swahili could be Swahili should be should be the African language. Yeah. Swahili spoken in 
wider countries, Swahili spoken in Congo, DRC, Swahili spoken in Southern Sudan, yeah. Swahili spoken in Kenya, Southern Ethiopia, and so, sorry, Southern Somalia, Swahili spoken in Rwanda, Burundi, Tanzania, Zambia. So for me, I was looking for broadband language. Yes, for a, a language that will counter and capture a bigger crowd. Yeah. Two, Swahili in Uganda was a very the uh, soldier kind of language. Yeah. It was rude to have yato. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know, you know, but when I went to Kenya, I actually realized that Swahili is it's just a beautiful language. Yeah. People use it to sweet talk women. People use it to talk about good things. So I wanted to revamp Swahili wow. in my country in Uganda. What a philosophy. Yes, yeah. I wanted to revamp Swahili in in Uganda as a beautiful language. Because if we can't do if we do without Swahili, we are doing out without a culture. Yeah. And uh, when you say that they're they are going to start teaching Swahili as a language, yes, they have actually delayed. Mm. They should have done it so long ago. Listen to me, what a language. The, the politicians and the governments tell us of integration. They're trying to bring the region together. When you bring a region together, you must bring cultures and languages together. Yeah. So Swahili being the wide spoken language, it's a very big tool in that integration they're telling us about. Wow. So, but also, you can teach your children Chinese, because also China is the future. <laughs> <laughs> Will you be able to sing uh, in Chinese? No, oh, you know, so, 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 so. Yeah, but you know what? China is also taking over. It's another revolution. Yeah. So I hear people going to school to study French, study German. That's not bad. But me, if I had a choice to study, I would study Chinese. One, ta one time I saw, I saw a post of Chameleon going to Korea for the very first time. Everyone was like, what? Yeah. What? <laughs> yeah, it, it, is, it, is, it is quite abnormal for somebody going to, to Korea to perform. There's a, there's a, there's, there's African societies in Korea. Yeah. Personally, my, my, my sister who follows me is a teacher in South Korea. She used to teach there. So it is, was a club appearance, well done, well sold out, and that's about it. Amazing. The yeah. only, the only part that I really admire to go to is, I admire to go, I want to go to South America. Mexico. That, that's the only part of the world I've not been that, to. Uh, yeah. I was supposed to go to Colombia. Yeah. There's a friend of mine called Jack Olavas. We invited me. We did a collab while Wale Wale Remix and the song was a hit in Colombia. But Abba and my family told me you can't go to Colombia <laughs> because of its reputation. Yeah. They told me, you're going, since you still want to travel the world, you're going to have a reputation. What were you going to do in Colombia? What are you, yeah. yeah. I was like, okay, next time, but I'll go there. Yeah. Fantastic. Uh, this picture right here. What does um, it speak to you? Oh, <laughs> this is this is the bigger brother. No, the the, the big brother. Wait. Yeah, no, no, yeah, this big. is the big. No, this is the big brother, the bigger brother, and the biggest brother. <laughs> <laughs> They're all big. Uh -huh. In a nutshell. Anyway, yeah. that is that is the family. I'll be honest with you. It is very rare that you find a family that is musical like that. Yeah. I don't know how it is possible. But when I look at it, those, those are pictures that when I look at they yeah. get me really emotional. Yeah. Of course, people will say that Palazzo is singing because he's Chameleon's brother. Weasel is singing because they're not That's singing. the statement we, we wanted to clear here. Yeah, but yeah. they're not singing because they're my brothers. They're singing because they're singers. Yes. I'm telling you, this, yeah. is, this, is, this is not Kung Fu that we learned it. This is something that is inborn. So when I look at... I was asking my dad the other day, but Mzee, when you look at your children, what comes to you? Uh, he told me before you answer, you're going to ask your, your son, when he looks at you, what comes yeah. to you? <laughs> so, this, yeah. is the, this is the Mayanja testimony. Yeah. Uh, actually, I would send my greetings to my dad and mom for such a beautiful union. Many families, many families are not together like that. Yeah. That's true. They are not together like that. That's true. I want you to go and bring me very many artists. I won't call names, but go and bring their pictures with their brothers like that. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Uh, as we head to the break, I'm going to leave a question for you to think about uh, in regard to this very picture yeah. as we head for the break. Around at the brim of last year as we were coming to this year, you said something to me, and I'm going to go personal with you. You said, you said something, you said, Dagi, when people were saying Malamu was the song of the air, and then I asked you, is Malamu the song of the air? You said, without a doubt. 
and then you say to me nagamba ngaba na Uganda and palasa ayimba ngaba mpakanya kakati kwenyine bali wano mu song of the year song of the year that's why we're going to start from after the break so wango la tv bakube them wrong fantastic ate kwenyine bali ba Uganda and palabo is song of the year so i was i was confused a bit because you are saying it with a, a lot of mixed feelings yeah you know you know from your through experience i've been i've been denied platform stuff like that. Now, out of experience, uh, let me tell you something. Palas is a very good singer, and he has proven to the people that he knows that. Yeah. So is Wizo and so many other artists. Kati, before you people recognized, for example, before you people knew radio, Mose Radio, I now read a radio in just two sentences. Same way, Palace on Kuzena, I have seen him hustle his way up. Kakati, I teach singer of Kuru. Yena again, I call him America, Mrs. Avali, I'm a Saja, very aggressive people yeah. who know exactly what to do. All I knew, all he needed was just a spark like this. When he got it, and Malam, after that, people were saying, Timalam song of that, and I told him, but <laughs> now, can you tell me what you used to say again? Yeah. You thought I was just in Tinali Pisao Yangi. Yeah. I saw Baganda, but now he saw Wababo. Tyson is a very good boxer. Yeah. Mm. Because they are not gifted the same way, but Fortunately Palace is gifted as an artist. So is Weasel, so is Mr. Joseph Mayanja. Yeah. Kakati, if you can rotate again with them, just right now, no color voting again, which is the song of the year. You know, Mayanja got to top listing on that list. You top five, yeah. 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 And, yeah. and you have done it for the past 20 years. Kugami, the next year, I guarantee you, I guarantee you. Yeah. Not because I know how to make a hit, but I'm a hit maker. And when I say that, people feel like maybe this man feels himself too much. You people, do you want me to go and boast myself <laughs> when there's no people? Yeah. Hey, cheating, this is like boxing. Yeah. You, they, you get boxed, you get jabbed, you get punched whilst everybody's watching. Yeah. So when they give you that, that champion belt, that's why people put it up in the air so the world can see. That's yeah. true. Me not knowing what God gave to me, not knowing that I'm a great artist, not knowing that if you want me to keep quiet about my talent, if you want me to downplay myself, you're wrong. Then I'm not giving God the glory. Fantastic. Is it, is it Camilla, Alhamdulillah. Um, before we jump onto this, um, we know and we understand and we respect the fact that um, you're a great artist, you're a great musician. We also know the fact that the Uganda Musician Association is there. Yeah. There is the urge and the need to make the UMA great again. Yes. Number one, why didn't Chameleon? go for that post for the president basing on the fact that you've shaped your brothers like it or not you've shaped leon island you've impacted so many musicians within and beyond these borders why can't you go for that post okay. and what's your role in regards to uganda musician association okay i will say that i personally created uganda musicians association initially right. it was called save uganda music and my interests were small and I congratulate the UMA yeah. for widening up upon that building. Um, my interest, we are trying to see that Uganda music identifies itself as a society. You know, I've been in chat groups from uh, Tanzania, musicians, as associations, even in Kenya, some chat groups, I'm part of them. Yeah. So I looked at it, I was like, oh, this is why these are getting more organized than we are. We need to organize ourselves as a community. Yeah. So when I did that, probably for various reasons that I don't know, but still positive reasons, they then call it the Uganda Missions Association. The reason I didn't go to stand for any of those posts, because I already played my role. By creating that platform, yeah. I already played a, a role good enough. I can go for presidency, true. I might be, I can play presidency for Uganda Missions Association. But honestly, I'm very busy for that. I would be lying to the association that I'm going to be committed to that. That's post. true. I'm not going to be president of the Ghana Ministers Association while some, somewhere in Canada, somewhere in uh, Masaka. I'm too busy for that. So we need to find artists that are busy, not physically, but busy and can run that post effectively. Yeah. Speaking about being busy, real quick, so a friend of mine stays in Canada. So he gave me a call and said, oh, Why? Omukuru Aluan, Canada. Tuluan, Canada. Molengedego. Nemogamba. 
omukulu mulabe South Africa so get me neda ali wano Canada nemuka omukulu gena ku Instagram olabe ali South Africa so when the guy checked the guy said ine kamili muzimu ba kamili abantu wano Canada kati kati no you know that is when it becomes a job with a job you have to be where the opportunity is i can be at ntv right now and then next morning they'll tell you i'm in brazzaville because it's a job yeah eh muruganda katika ngosomesa uruganda muruganda ulichi baita omulimu nze muntegere ya ngomulimu mulimu cho funamu yeah mulimu okola mu no funamu ne obera ndo omulimu Omulimu bakatala anga wala bomusibira banga ati vono paka wali ogo mulimo. Mu ino chitukiriza. Kakati nze okusokola kusigala nga mpirira bana ba usokusigala nga nchenso bolo kusokusigala nga nganda bikako ngo omuntu nkolo omulimu kuba guli mu chemfunamu. That's true. Yes, yeah, so fantastic. Let's celebrate this milestone right here. What does this mean to you? Um, this is one of the first YouTube awards that came to Uganda for when I made 100,000 subscribers. So you find people telling you, Katika million yewana, 100,000 subscribers. Peace Square, buying 1 million subscribers. My dear friend, my dear friend, Piwari ye Kampala, Piwari ye, ye Mu America. Yeah. Every achievement is an achievement. No matter how small you look at that hundred thousand people on YouTube, that is guaranteed a hundred thousand views the moment I put my, 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 my work on there. Two a hundred thousand people is two numbers as you do up up on the seats and on the on the on the green. Yeah. Those are two stadiums. My friend having two stadiums of subscribers was such a milestone. It doesn't come easy. Now, as I talk, we are roughly, there are roughly 400,000. Now, those are how many numbers? Number That is two times, uh, I'm going to remember these are two numbers. Yeah. Now, two times the four. Yeah. Those are eight number pitches full of subscribers. Yeah. Katia. Hard work. <laughs> um, the concert. Is it happening this year? Uh, the concert. You know, to be honest with you, let's be very realistic. There's a lot of happenings in Uganda now. Yeah. Sorry to say, but people are so politically affiliated. But it, there's so much entertainment. Politics also became entertainment. That's true. Yeah? So there's still a steer. The, the water has to come down first because I want to entertain fully. Saga ku entertaining. Ngatuba tu kwa tu gama mbwa ati simanya walu ati walu walu chira chiri. No, it's so cool to lamo bro. I I told you these are two numbers. When I do a concert, no, no, I meant umdin di we kutu demu. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now we imbira, now we. Ah, no, 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 no. I want to. It's okay, we coming it down. We have locked down two years ago. We see it. Many locked down, locked down, locked down for two years. Yeah. All over them locked down. The prices of fuel are up. Prices even to be up. Kati, realistically, people want to get entertained, but. Are you sure we're going to search out folding up to the numbers that you would want to entertain? Yeah. So that's about it. Fantastic. Okay. Talking about rekindling love, yeah. bromance here. This is you, Dr. Jose Chameleon. We may ah. not change the past, but we can change the future. Six years ago, while at Governor, we got involved in a misunderstanding with our very own DJ brand, who mans the planes <coughs> here. And uh, it came with repercussions. We have since reconciled with DJ brand and left the past before us. I would also like to further extend my sincere regret in the incident to Mr. Charlie Lubega and the entire club of Governor Management. After on the 29th of July, I will return to Club Governor in a show that will feature a Frigo band in a rekindled relationship with the club. I call you upon to be part of this reunion. Yes. What does this mean to you? <laughs> the, yeah. Yeah. There is um, your relationship with DJ Brian. Breakups to make us. Yes, mm. and then there's your relationship to with Governor. Um, governor mm. Obviously. Mm. The first is I thank my parents for paying my school fees. <laughs> Because the English is in yeah. the yeah. <laughs> And then people, and then people, yeah, Gamba, does Camille run his page? My dear friend. Hey. Now, so my, anyway, to the real point is six years ago, the short narrative, I'll just narrate it for you briefly. Yeah. The short narrative is me and DJ Brian had a misunderstanding. Mo club played it early. Uh, it was a little bit late in the night. And it ended up into a scaffold. Okay, but that's six years ago. I'm 43. Yeah. That means I was 30 what? 36. Mm. Yeah. No, 37. And it doesn't matter. That's some. Yeah. But the truth about it is, he didn't come out well. Brian Nanyigi as a friend. I lost him as a friend for quite a while. I was wrong. 
you know it's only brave to, to take you to take you wrong i was yeah. wrong I na 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 I I I busted for something that was so small. Yeah. Now but a little bit better and I really apologize to Brian again, Gachali Wange. We met again and we resolved it. We tossed upon it. But my senior, Mr. Charlie Lwega, was still insisting that. But you apologize to Brian. When you touch our employee, when you touch your, your, your fellow young brother. You touch governor. You, no, not governor. You're touching us people who love you. We expect you to love and live in harmony. Yeah. So he talked to me as a mature senior. And I thought it was still brave enough that I further my apologies to him personally. Mm. Because Charlie Lwega has been my fan. Actually, his wife is called Dorothea. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So he celebrates me. I apologize to him personally. I still do the same right now on TV. And for governors as a, as a, as a team, because governor is an army. When you touch one of them, it's like when you touch Palace, you've touched all of us. That's my true. Angels. My angels. Yeah, so I touched Brian and governor felt I still apologize to them in the same way. Yeah. But we cannot just say it ends there. What brings us together, Governor is a very big club yeah. that has promoted very many artists yes. that keeps our music on the dance floor. We sat down and in Rekindle Love, like I said, we want to showcase the benefit out of it. That's why you come back and say, this was not a good thing, but it brought something good. good. Yes. So, but next time we're not going to do this to get another good thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so. yeah. It's going down on 29th of July. Governor is a place for you to be. They only say, man, whatever the mood we've got, the color, man. Shout out to DJ Brian. Shout out to uh, VJ Baby Love, Mark Rebo, DJ Dash, Selected J. Who am I forgetting? MC Moseso. Who am I forgetting? And, uh, and I was Selected saying, Tom. Yes. Hey, I'm Say Buyinza, the security man who sits on the door that doesn't talk. Yes. Hey. Uh, and the waiters and waitresses. Hey. Definitely. Hey. Nepop man. Everybody. Ne Rasta Rob. Everybody. That's my family. Yeah. Ne, yeah. I've been, I've been missing them. They've been missing me. But let's do Let's Let's put it up. Fantastic. Tichuaniki. Fantastic. Chameleon, um, about 20 years ago, uh, what pretty much redefined the industry was Chameleon. Uh, punching uh, Bobby Wine with lyrics, then Bobby Wine punches back with lyrics, yeah. then Camille and Bebe Cool in studio, lyric, 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 and uh, people enjoyed that so much. But now 20 years later, looks like we are back. We are back. We are seeing King Saha producing Zakayo. We are seeing the sun replying with Matayo. We are seeing King Saha's fans replying with Petero. Mm. Now King Saha today posted something. Moses. Moses. Yeah. And he said, Mwongere over Musasire. What's your take on this? <coughs> Beef in the industry. Beef in the industry. Uh, Necessary <laughs> evil? No, I'll tell you something. For more harm than good. Oh, sorry. I'll tell you, no, I'll tell you something. The biggest challenge I face in such a situation is Bebe Kool is my senior friend. Yeah. Actually, I'll try and explain it in the best way I can. Yeah. Baby Cool is a senior friend to me. Yeah. And a brother to me. And one of my very good friends without even the music. His family is my family. My family is his family. King Saha is also the same. He's, they don't accept the difference. Is senior, King Saha is not a senior friend artist, but he's still one of my my very good musicians. Yeah. Belongs to the circle. Yes. Um, Actually, before he released that song, I, I, I was aware of it. Hey. He came and played it for me at my house. And I was like, well, do you think? <laughs> <laughs> go, 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 and there's no way I could go to tell Baby Cool that I had had a song like that. Yeah. I think I wrote it on Mugamba. Ngamubu Saruachi. It is, that is, Ngamubu Saha, Ngamubu Limba Sula, Mr. Moses. Anyway, I just want us to understand, he, so is music. As long as it is not violent and we still respectful in a way. Yeah. We as, as long as we're still respectful in a way. Because Jews and Alaba are insulting uh, Alex, uh, Alan Hendricks. I'm insulting him to be the off music. Yeah. And I felt so bad about it. If it is music, let's let's challenge by the music. Let's not challenge by other factors. Let's not go below the belt. Yeah. As for Mr. Saha, good luck in the career. Babanga Yagara Kuru Tigati Gavantu, Mongela, Yamani, Bagamba freedom of speech. And is expression, not, yeah. 
ya muntu kati mwaka la democracy mulikenda ya kulivia ya gano yeah. kasa wanga tali bilo the belt I congratulate Bebe Kuro Kwanti ya chanolize machuali yeah. yeah he has not really gotten pulled up by such I guess ali busy na hivyo ntuwe vidala yeah. e, and mu music sometimes you have to go deaf yeah. you see ka nzibanjo kideko a lot of stuff you people you all know Kamilioni ya kozati, kamilioni ya kozati, kamilioni ya kola wati, kamilioni uyo, uyo kamilioni... But sani, when again I'm taking in everything, sika fula udibu kola music, njia kuru running a mad, njia kuru running a mad, njia kuru running a mad, njia kuru running a So I choose what to take in and what not to take in. Yeah. As for the music beef, as long as it's not violent and not below the belt. Yeah. Omuntu yangamba sometime omuntu yanga ne ngamba Kamili Kamili yasaka ali ku governor na aseka before way back kupata ya Zari ne nga Kamili abasajja aba bagamba mbu wezito kasamu sambo gwechiro fuke mpolo ngo simanyo fuke ngo ebitu babiyogera ke da ne musebere nga chali munsi ku bagamba ngamu yafuka yafuka kapa Kamili namboza mubala kati zili meka kati ndingo zili mwena chito no manyi let's be realistic let's be very realistic Buri muntu munsi muna ina right ye but you don't abuse other people's rights yeah. by attaining yours yeah. if you want to respect give respect if you want to love give love neka katika nguze yu mtu wajia kusa nga mudiske manye katika tuli ba celebrity wajia kusa mudiske mwonsonda kujia kugambe chigambo chesua na ku imagine inga gwe mutima goroze chigambe chesua kunye iliza dalevi semba yu nchiku pangul orina chigamba kakati no mutu nulida <laughs> example is very clean I don't like to support violence in any way. I I've spent a lot of years to fight out of violence, and I'm still even fighting it. Kuweva ndicha yamutunga gupangu lukuka, but you fight it hard. Truly, a scenario yom saji ya kwe ya idi dedi kenzo homwenge. How would you want somebody to take that? Eri kenzo msaji ya msidamu first and foremost. I immediately day, or the same you've paid your money to come and have a good time. That's true. Are you having a good time by making somebody have a bad time? Katiao, Eri kenzo chia kuzi siwa reza mores. Echi chibai ta reaction. Zina never say kaka king and never say wenga na ba na. Nalinko yu 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 yu. Oba yari abba I cannot remember very well. Omo na jia anku worui what. If you had done, I would have come out. Did I come to marry you? If you were a reaction, if a reflex, you can't do what you want. If a reflex, if you check on me, then I will come at you. Why? Come back with it. So. TV, the big classic celebration of nothing but Higan and music 100% to the fullest forever. At the start of this year in January, first January, first January yeah, this song dropped and we had Eddie Sandy and Kasuku yeah. and Jenkins in this studio. And when we did ask them, what is the song of the year? Eddie Sandy said, the song of the year is forever. By this Chameleon. song was just hours old. <laughs> yeah. And was like, this is but the the studio year. was like, I told, him, <laughs> I told him, bro, how are you saying it's the song of the year? The song has not even played anywhere else. We're playing it for the very first time. It's like, you wait and see. And he said, this is the song of the year. Wait and see. Oh, you know. If you can note that song at the end, na teka kaka rogama, eh. 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 Muruganda wakandi, eh. Shitekezaji. Shitekezaji, yo, yuri, de. Eh. Eh. Gakuku, gakubu. Yeah, like, a trick, having, having a song that has Ripley value, mm. a song that can be played over and over without fading. Uh, I think, I think, I think it goes back to what I told you, it is passion. Bro, I also listen to some music sometimes. Before we started the show, you remember? Yeah. They played some music of mine and I told you, can you imagine that's me? Yeah. It's pouring out. I'm not telling a lie. When you're not telling a lie, it's the, it's the, it's there. the facts will always remain. Emotional truth. Yes, the facts remain when you're telling the truth. Kakati, hmm, I don't know. I don't know how to explain that. You're still emotional even as you're talking about <laughs> it. <laughs> the truth in the song. Yeah. yeah. It's fantastic. And, and, I'd like to say that that's a song of theirs, personally. When, and then when I just released it, a lot of people try to make it into Chameleon is singing about their wife and blah, blah. No. Come on. When you go in a movie and act like a pickpocket, it doesn't make you a pickpocket. True. A good, a, a good actor. You, you, yes, good you're fitting in a character. Do. Yes. That is why you also love it. That's why I told you again when you sing that, for example, that song is a song you sing and you touch here. What are you touching? <laughs> yeah. If I'm singing about my wife, why are you touching yourself? Feelings! 
Yeah, but you I'm, can relate. If, if I'm saying about my wife, why are you touching yourself? It's me who's painting, not you. Me, I'm feeling the song. I'm going through what you're singing about. So that is what the song is about. And that's this song, fun, fantastic. Obviously, when it dropped uh, conversations in regards to the album, I Am Joseph, started, yeah. you know, going around. Is it off the album? Yeah, you know, yeah, it is off the album, but there's so much to be created. Yeah. And I want to apologize to my fans watching us. They were asking me, why don't you release the album? Why don't I've been very busy. That's true. I have family, bro. I have other things to do. Because see, music is my priority. But I'm confident that what I have on my album, I can still do better. It is really good music. For example, if that is one song of the album, yeah. so you must know what is on the album. But I still think I can do it better. Fun. I, need, I need a lot of time, branding, packaging, and all that. Fantastic. Talking about chameleon, this gentleman right here, mm. you two seem to be very close. Which one? This gentleman right here. <laughs> ah, governor. Governor. Yeah. <laughs> Uncle C. Papa. The next governor. Because no, no, no. You know, a lot of people to love you arguments in the Papa from about two thousand seven. Wow. You know, to my you know, I won't get it in a way sanger. I see. The Mugabe is a city meeting and a mutual carriage. Papa, Papa, Boban Gorantich, we are gonna go ahead. Rachimugan again, Governor Tari Rachimugan. Auntie, see Papa, nobody will come here to swap with Simba. Boba, I take a little bit of a little bit of a Come on, Brunet Simbo, say Simbo. Yes, get a green parliament. What do you mean? Yeah, I'm ready. So, come here. We want to say thank you so much for making time to come and chat with us. Yep, thank you so much. We are very humbled. We are very honored. Always, always. Thank you so much. Uh, as we close in the next two, three minutes, yeah. closing remarks to the fans watching all over the world. Yeah, closing remarks for the fans watching all over the world. First, before the fans, I'll thank the Almighty God. For what your shouts of the suppose, bro, I'm a sad you have a new lockdown. Never to know whosoever, nay, if you're still alive today, that's one thing to celebrate. H.O. COVID, NTV, in the station. I, I congratulate you for your consistency. Congratulate you upon Kwanti Muchali, Kusonga, you promoting a musical from taking it to another level. When I say NTV, I'm not saying the television at home, I'm saying the entire team. Thank you. Hey, this team, I congratulate you as well so much for the love. Makre Buguriwang, it's your witty service. Um, and for the fans out there, I thank you so much for the non ending love and support. People ask me how have I managed to stay around. It is people who have kept me around. True. Otherwise, if you block your ears off me, Ningo so good. So, when I thank you so much, I salute uh, my family, my brother, my brothers, my sisters, my mother. I want to remind you to, well, tonight. Uncle Palasso. Yes. He's going to be the comedy store. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
August. Yeah. Hey, back bigger and better. The so Masaka. When, when I'm going to leave NTV, the beat. Bambi, thank you so much. Man, when you get the TV, you get the nag in the moon to moon deke. That's been Jose Chameleon chatting with us here on So You. Do you want to say thank you so much for everybody who's watching, people from the US, UK, Canada, everybody who's streaming live on YouTube. Thank you so much. You have been amazing. Well, we'll call it a day. We'll be back tomorrow for the biggest countdown in the game. It's been Dagi, Mark Rebo, Sami, and Governor Uganda. No.